Hello, today I'm going to be showing you my AT-15A. This was a British assault tank designed during the end of 1943, and this came about because the British Army wanted an assault tank, so when they attacked places like the Sigfrid Line, they would have something that was pretty much impervious to any German round available. So Nuffield came up with 18 designs, ranging from 40 to about 80 tons. Um, this obviously was the 15th one. And originally the AT-15 uh, was designed, which looked very similar to this, but they basically came back, looked at the design, and modified it, making the AT-15A. And while the AT-15A or the AT-15 uh, were never made, the basic design features were used on the AT-16, and uh, that was later renamed the A-39 Tortoise. Okay, so now onto the Lego model. I'll give you a quick 360 degree pan as usual. As you can see, it's got a very unconventional uh, layout. Lots of weird angles, not very streamlined. Uh, but I think that kind of adds to its looks. I think it's uh, a very nice looking tank. Very ugly, but I really like what it looks like. Okay, so I'll show the track area first. As you can see, it has uh, partially overlapping wheels and above it has the spaced side armour now on to the uh, rear some extra details, some uh, towing areas and obviously the other side is pretty much identical round to the front uh, glacis plate uh, this piece here is actually intentionally used. Uh, on the real thing it has bolts or rivets going along the sides and the top of this plate here so uh, that's why I intentionally use that plate rather than just completely smoother um, so I think that's quite a nice little detail onto the uh, superstructure as you can see there's a, a fake escape hatch there and on the engine deck You might have also, uh, also noticed by now that the gun isn't actually mounted in a traditional assault tank, uh, tank destroyer mount. Uh, it's actually mounted in a sort of mini turret. Um, this gives it very, very good movement angles. Uh, it could move 25 degrees either side. Uh, had a gun depression of minus 10 and an elevation of plus 10. So it had very good gun movement angles, um, which is quite uh, bizarre for a assault tank or tank destroyer especially compared to things like the Yarg Tiger and the uh, T95 uh, there's a Beza machine gun in the front here and an opening hatch so a minifigure can fit inside there the entire interior is completely hollow so uh, a fake engine and interior could be added on the other side there's another hatch, uh, in order to open this hatch though easily you need to rotate the machine gun turret so as you can see it's a smaller one but you can still fit a minifigure in there um, there's the machine gun turret mounting two machine guns so this has uh, got 360 degree movement as the uh, real thing would have there's also a fake hatch, another one, on top of the uh, superstructure. The reason I didn't make this one also open is because it would break up the uh, design. It wouldn't look so uh, good there with the angle. So I just left that non-opening. But uh, all in all, I'm really, really pleased with this tank. Um, I think it looks really good. Uh, really realistic. And uh, yeah. So that's uh, pretty much it in case you're wondering here is roughly what it looks like in the scale and then compared to a 135 scale mini uh, sorry figure that's what uh, this is built in so yeah that's it if you enjoyed this video please do leave a like and a comment or both that'd be even better um, also if you could uh, subscribe that'd be awesome almost uh, at 400 subs now so uh, 
thanks for all of the uh, subs, I really do appreciate it, and uh, yeah. So I'll probably build some of the other AT series, uh, series tanks as well. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.